Hey guys, it's Tony from a &E here. So today we've got a really exciting episode to bring to you guys. So we're gonna be taking on this amazing journey how trusses are actually made. So on this amazing journey, we're gonna take you through to Nunutian Roof Trusses, which are based in the West Midlands. We're gonna meet the people behind the actual scenes and learn all about their technology and the hard work that goes into this factory to bring the roof trusses to you guys. It looks like we've got a job just arriving behind us. Yeah, so we better move. We better move. <laughs> from the concept to the actual final cut and then the deliverance up to site. This is a factory tour to show you how roof trusses are actually made. Oh, that's it. Make sure I don't hit anything. So guys, as I said, uh, we're gonna be here at Nuneaton Trusses. The key thing for me is to understand the drawings that I've got to make sure I'm happy. Hope's given me the time to go through everything I need to go through the layouts. And also they do this uh, new um, system where they can actually show the drawing in 3D. So I'm really quite excited to see that because you know it's like sometimes when you have a lot of components in the drawing, it gets really, really fussy on the drawing. So here we go guys, let's go and have a look. So, the neat and roof trusses, here we go. Hey, hope it's Tony, can I uh, let me in? Yeah, come on up. Thanks. Here we go, guys. Hey, Hope, how you doing? All right. all right. Yeah, thanks for making the time for me to come over and have a look at the drawings. Did you receive the email and everything, yeah, have you? Over. Let me get my glasses on because I need to be able to see what I'm looking at. Right. And okay, his, so his that's the... That okay, so that's the um, drawing attached. Okay, now that's cool. That looks absolutely spot on. The measurement's fine. So let's have a look at the 2D now. Ah, so this is great. what we've come up with on the, the back of the information that you okay. sent across to us. Yeah. Um, we can, um, this is looking a bit messy because it's on multiple levels at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it looks crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a lot of material going to go sides. Yeah, there is, um, But we can split it out into the ceiling level, which will show you just what's the bottom That's course. really good, I like that. And it's even got all the truss connections as well as yes. the, the joist so connections. Yeah, you can zoom in and see what we're yeah. going to supply for those that's, particular areas. That's brilliant, love that. And then can we see the singular rafter yeah, um, of course. So elevation this would be the, as well? The rafter level. Okay, <laughs> that's really good. Which shows you where all the hips are and where all the girder trusses are going to form. Uh, and obviously you'll send these details out with the trusses when they come out to us? Yep, so they'll be that's split really out cool. separately. So you'll get um, individual yeah. layouts, one for uh, the rafter level, one yeah. for the ceiling level. And then one is the collective to show you how it's meant, tended to look on Okay, site. No, that's really cool, that's great. Okay. And then also on there, we can also send you um, a 3D model. Oh, so you can have a look out nice, on site. absolutely brilliant. So who's this company who you do this with? So this company that offers this is MyTech. They're, right. um, we've been working for the last five years yep. and they're one of, uh, one of the industry leaders in relation to what they offer as a, uh, you know, a metalwork um, yeah. supplier. Um, and yeah, they've created the That's, software, which means that we can I do this. I love that. That is absolutely brilliant because what that does, it allows you to sort of relate to the actual roof and obviously the members that... Can you strip that back as well, can yeah, you? Yeah, of course. So we can take it back down to same as on the 2D ceiling <coughs> level. To show wow, the that's really, cords. really cool. Love and that. And then rafter that level as so well. Good. That is brilliant, that is. And then obviously what we can do is when we send you the link to it, you can obviously be quite interactive yeah. and zoom around and have a look at different levels. Can you send that out to us as well in 3D? Yeah, yeah, literally That's just brilliant. like that. So you should be able to yeah. do everything that I can in relation to interacting with the... Uh, the 3D plan and taking that's, it into different levels for you guys on site to understand. That's brilliant. Now, the, the key thing as well, because obviously we're getting a telehandler there with the jib, and mm -hmm. I need to understand what the weight of the truss is. Can you tell me the weight of the truss is yes, as well? Yes, of course. So um, if we click on an individual truss here, yeah, it will gotcha. show you that there's three ply yeah. of this particular truss, and yeah. it will, there are 170 in each. Right, okay. So yeah, definitely need to have the trusses then sent out singly to right. us because of the telehandler jib and the boom where we're going to go, so definitely that's a big key factor. That's fine. But that's a great space in there, look at that, that's, that's huge isn't it, that's, that's absolutely brilliant. That is. Yeah exactly, and I'm going to say we look to try and you know, optimise as much space as yep. you can have in the attic, um, you know, as far as the design or letters. Thank so you very much for the yeah, time. No problem. Take care, see you soon. Thank you. Wow, seeing this truss on the 3D model is absolutely amazing. It's something pretty special, isn't it? So I'm really eager to get down to the factory to see how the root trusses are actually made. Hey, you missed me, Steph. Yeah, hey, how you going? Really good to see you. Yeah, Thanks you for too. making the time. No so, I'm really super excited to see this process, how these trusses are made. So, yeah. can you take me from the very start and then show me around the whole process? Yeah, no worries. That'd be uh, really cool. Need to start around the back. That's where the timber. So that's where it all gets unloaded. Unloaded and kitted. Let's go and have a look, then, mate. Okay.
So, Steph, how many deliveries do you get here a week, mate? Uh, between four and five afterloads. Wow, that is a lot of timber. And obviously, the big question on my mind straight away, and a lot of the people want to know, is it like responsibly sourced, the, the lumber and that, that you use? Yeah. And what type of lumber is it? Yeah, uh, to get the Customer After Association yeah. permit, yeah. Uh, which all your customers are asking for, yeah. it's got to be FFC, uh, right. sustainable timber, yeah. and we buy that from uh, Vida in Sweden and Sodra in Sweden. Nanit and Triss has used a T26 structural pine timber and the average Arctic load can weigh up to 25 tons. Just one month, Nanit can churn through 100 adult elephants in timber. How bonkers is that, guys? So from here then, so the delivery comes in, what yep. is the next process? Uh, the next process is we have a group of lads called Tally Men. Tally Men, yeah, uh, okay. They will tally up the timber yeah. according to the ticket that's produced yeah. by design that goes through the factory then. So you must have a, like a picking list yep, then. Show you oh one. wow, okay, let's have a look at that then. Yeah, yeah this is a uh, picking list fan. Okay, yeah, uh, that's cool. From, from one of our jobs. And actually cut in this. So this job there, yeah. that's the uh, length, stock, yeah. stock length. Yeah. That's what we're going to cut it at. That's the stock length, that's the size, Yeah. 12 of them. So wow. That's that's like. every, every job we do has one of them, and that'll, yeah. that, that paperwork follows it all the way through to the factory, yeah. right through the quality control, yeah. and it's all ticks off, marks off, yes, we're happy, then it can go to the customer. That's brilliant, superb. How many jobs on average a week? Uh, plus. Wow, that is a lot, isn't yeah, it? That's 100 ounces. Yeah, of course. That is amazing. They can make a small garage to yeah. a mansion, or we do lots of plants. Wow. Wow. That is super cool. Super cool. Trust Rafters Association permit is a mark of quality and tells customers that they can buy with confidence knowing that trusses are made and purchased and meet recognised professional standards. And we all know, guys, it's really key in this industry, isn't it? Tell me about this new saw. It's obviously uh, the saw that cuts everything. Yeah, that's that's a Hyundai uh, turbo drive. Yeah. And what they do is, uh, every as I showed you outside, every house type or every plot yeah. has its own unique job number. Okay, let's have a look at that. Can we? Yeah. No problem. Yeah, so every, each job has its uh, unique uh, job number yeah. that relates to that plot number. Yeah, I see. Um, and this uh, turbo saw will actually pull in that length. Yeah. So that's what it's telling you want 30 of. So and basically, it, the guy loads on 30 lengths then in one hit, then does he? Yeah, 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 just one hit, and what we'll do, we'll cut all the top cord first, yeah. and the saw will automatically adjust to cut them angles. That's amazing. So it's like the automation side really speeds up things and then also stops a lot of um, excessive waste as well. It, it does, it, it, yeah, these saws are programmed to minimise yeah. your waste on, on, on these saws. Well, we've, we've improved our turnover and at throughput wow. tremendously since getting yeah, these yeah, in. That's really, really cool. The rest of the job will get cut accordingly, put into a put into a finished stack, and then that's ready for the next process. So basically the guy taps the code into the machine and then yep. it does it all for it. Everything's auto. Like that. Oh, that's cool, that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. Okay. All right. cutting a piece of timber, rather than have a large piece of weight, the saw will also say, right, I need two of them blocks for truss. Yeah. Cut them off and that comes out the front tube. That's brilliant that is. So really like kind of using all the waste of the waste again, Minim aren't you? Minimising your waste down I love to the that. minimum. <laughs> yeah. so good. Wow, what a saw that is. That is the Hun Dugger Turbo Drive Saw. It's got five axis saw, which then pivots 360 degrees and will tilt 90 degrees to have a precise cut. The only downside to one of these saws is the £187,000 price tag that comes with, but I'd love one of these, wouldn't you guys? I tell you what, this is absolutely amazing. That is so cool. And I love all the safety features all over it as well, so there's loads of lasers, so anybody who walks near the so it cuts off automatically. Yeah. That is amazing. That is a great bit of kit. Basically guys, what this is, this is wall plate. Now obviously there's different types of wall plate, 4v2, 4v3. That's what this is. This pack's now going to be loaded onto the conveyor of the treatment machine and it will then go in and then be treated because obviously it's really key wall plates get really treated prior ball before it goes out and uh, and that's what they're just doing now guys 
So there is an option that you can have at the interest is you can either have it as a normal clear pine or you can actually have it with a wood preserver that's called Vascol. This protects you against the bug infestation like wood lice and beetles. With this treated timber, you've got to make sure it's disposed of in the correct manner. The chemical treatment solution that's used obviously has a risk to human health and to the environment. So, so after we've uh, put all the soot timber, we then treated it, what's the next process? Uh, next process is we have factory loaders. Yeah. They'll actually pick up a stack. Yeah. We'll have a pre-selected jig where it's going, yeah. and then they'll put it on that jig, and then we go to the manufacturing okay, process. Okay, so it's looking at these are like ladder frames, are they, Steph? Yeah, yeah, so once the job gets to this mark, yeah. we then split the ladders and valleys that are done in this section, yeah. and then the roof trusses are all done on the Martech jigs on this section. Okay, let's go and have a look at some of the fabrication sides. Yep, okay, no problem. will be uh, so the same bit of paperwork that followed it all the way through from the backyard yeah we'll then come to the truss guys and we have team leaders that do the setups yeah and then they'll fabricate the truss as per the drawing that's followed yeah. the job from back to front and then this floor is absolutely i assume perfectly flat as well yes yeah yeah because yeah. these are magnetic trestles uh your floor's got to be dead flat if not yeah. you're going to be building trusses all over the place once the magnet set yeah that jig's not going to move anywhere so your first truss should yeah. be exactly the same as the last truss because all your jigs and your jig yeah. positions are all preset that's brilliant and it looks like we've got a job just arriving behind us yeah so we better move, we better move. <laughs> <laughs> So most of the time a truss is made up of eight individual pieces of timber. So when we look at a normal attic truss is what we're doing, you normally have about 12 trusses that make that up. When you then have a hip roof, it's normally 25 trusses. The efficiency is amazing, isn't it? Oh yeah, and the, and the, jig, the jig set up, so the first off yeah. is exactly the same as the last off. Yeah, absolutely. And, that, and that's what's done by the setter. And then you'll see them now going into the process of actually manufacturing a large batch of trusses. It's like a load of ants over everything, isn't it? Pulling <laughs> everything together, isn't yeah. it? You know, it's just yeah. like so simple. The main interest is produce 2,270 trusses within one week. That is a lot of trusses and the way these guys do it, they actually rotate and work 24 hours a day with their staff and what they do, they work Monday to Thursday but they regulate their hours really, really well and they have a really well earned deserved break at the weekend so fair play to them. So once you've actually then fabricated the trusses, where, do you, where does it go on from there then, uh, uh, Seth? Once they fabricate, they're, yeah. they're stacked in the storage area, yeah. which is in here. And then depending on which customer it is, yeah. some customers will say, I'll have them in tens. Yeah. And they band them up in tens, mark the details on it. Yeah. Every truss has its own truss label anyway. Yeah. So then they're put in there and then it goes out to the front on the preloading area, ready to be put on a trailer. So do you want to have a look at that, Sugar? Yeah, yeah. So go and have a look. and load of trusses absolutely stacked here haven't you Matt? Yeah. That is amazing. The efficiency of this place is amazing. How you literally um, go in from one end with all the storage of all the timber then it goes through all the relevant processes yep. then to then go through all the fabrication processes you know the cutting process fabrication process and then to the point where you've not just got one arctic you've got like three arctics they're all in a line so it keeps that efficiency going. Just just it? keeps the flow, yeah. That's amazing. And you're yeah. an independent firm as well. Yeah, like we are. Family run business. Family run business, well. yeah. yeah. That's absolutely brilliant. You know, this is like amazing. I'm just blown away with the infrastructure and how organized it is. Mm. You were from the army or something? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's, so just, well you know, it's, just, it's just the way it runs and everybody's got their own yeah. area, their own job to look after and I'm just the overseer really. Yeah. <laughs> look, thank you very much for your no time, problem at all. it's really, really kind of you to welcome. show me around. I'm absolutely blown away. I mean, I didn't realise the amount of hard work and effort and obviously the organisation of uh, putting all this together yeah. for a, a trust roof. It's just absolutely well, It takes some running, but... It, it, you know, he turns up on our site and I just think, oh, it's just a trip. Oh, yeah. a road trip. And then obviously and you know. seeing what goes <laughs> yeah. into it is absolutely amazing. Yeah. So yeah. It's tough work. Thank you very much it's for your right. time. It's really no, good. Yeah, take your problem. See you soon. Okay. Take 
what an amazing journey that was. I mean, I'm absolutely blown away. A uh, massive thank you to Nuneet and Trusses allowing us to come round and see their production line. You know, you always get the trust on site and you never understand how uh, it's all produced and this is how it's done. And to know that they knock out 2,270 trusses in a week is absolutely mind-blowing. So a massive, massive thank you to the Nuneet and Trusses and I hope you enjoy the video. Take care, guys. That's a wrap. I've got to be gone. On to my job and get these trusses organized and then I can get them fitted.